Hey everybody, Ron on here for another episode of the Black Lake Settler series. Thanks for tuning in. I just wanted to go over some of the goals that I have. I moved some of the recurring goals over into its own section called recurring. The long-term goals are kill the nearest community, the Boomlet Ranch, repair Sergio with Bonix, the recurring goals, Tomb of the Fallen, and send Wolf and Jiren on adventures, which we've satisfied. And then I have this goal pretty up the base, and I'm gonna treat this kind of radically. So if you remember last episode, we had our caravan here and we basically chopped up four eyes here, but decided to rescue her anyway, because we're required to. It occurs to me that she's out here naked. We're going to need to send some clothing. Uh, I also wanted to ditch the slag that we had because it's just slowing our uh, caravan down um, unnecessarily. And as for the... Um, yeah, there's a lot of little projects I want to do this episode, uh, so hopefully I get them done. We have a lot of pawns now, uh, which means that we'll be able to get a lot of work done, but uh, I have a lot of little projects that I had in mind, and hopefully I make progress on them. Some, some little changes, some more radical changes, but uh, all changes that I think are necessary regardless. Next, let's go clear up this stockpile. So this one will be temp crematorium. We don't really have a real crematorium, but uh, we'll treat this as a temporary one. Got some thrombos coming in. Ooh, nice. I will absolutely go for some thrombos too. And a bunch of sensory mechanics. Nice. Great. That's awesome. Uh, four people came down with that. The thrombos, ooh, Dano, set himself on fire. Nice. I guess with one eye, he couldn't see the fire that he ran through. Oh well. Suppose it's my fault, but still feels a little silly. So I have a lot of projects uh, that I have queued up that I would like to get done. Um, Here's another one that just uh, occurred to me, is changing this over from meat to vegetarian. Um, because, mostly because we have more vegetables than meat now. So I'll just go ahead and switch that over. Um, fine meals are running because they're being stored in here. That seems silly. So before we rot any additional fine meals, let's load up 20 of them and some clothing to our caravan so I don't know poor jacket uh, there we go that's enough loading up trying to encourage them to load stuff up is sometimes tricky all right it is all loaded up let's Give to the caravan. The caravan received it. Now we go to gear and we gear up the prisoner so she doesn't freeze to death. No point in carrying her if we're going to let her die. Uh, another thing, let's see. Recreational drugs, I'm going to change so that people just use it for rec. Which I think is going to help um, keep everyone's moods nice and steady. Um, so, I'm, in order to pretty up the base, I'm going to do some radical changes to the base initially. Um, ones that won't necessarily make a lot of sense, uh, but they all have their purposes. Um, so, you're just going to have to trust me on this, that what I am doing is for the benefit of the goals that I have, but... Initially, the it won't make much sense, and I, I fully uh, understand. If you're confused, it, I promise it will it will make sense eventually. All 
All right, so we do have some pawns that are a little less happy than others. How much granite do I have a lot of granite I think I'm good on granite for now uh, we're gonna want to make Sergio bionic so let's go ahead and do that uh, mr. Velik I'm going to make sure you're nice and happy because you are currently stressed and there we go bionic I getting started Fine meals, rotten storage, they never moved it. Brilliant. So what I'm working on now is, in part, printing up the base. I'm working towards that because it was stated as a temporary goal, and I feel like my current base's um, layout is it could be improved. Hopefully I make some good progress here. How's my caravan? My caravan has probably enough food given that they are going to forage a bit uh, to make it all the way home. I'm also gonna wanna deal with the... Yeah, let's go ahead and piss off these uh, beautiful thrombos. Uh, so animals, oh, looks like I can train some. Let's get them into the shelter and piss off these thrombo. Now the thrombo should be going through the kill box. Eventually, I don't, I did it. Not actually certain that I didn't have anyone outside the base, but I don't, so that's good in retrospect. Uh, I do constantly get the suggestion of adding sandbags in front of the turrets. Uh, turrets don't really benefit from cover. Not like that, at least. Uh, which is why you're not going to see any sandbags. Alright, so here is a giant volley of turrets trying to deal with the thrombo. Yes, there's really no protection from the thrombo overrunning the walls, and I should have thought about that. I got bit a little bit. Not too serious yet. This thrombo is obviously getting pretty injured, so I just need to keep moving. Guess I'll do a somewhat of a bounding overwatch. Endelos, you can just go ahead and let's turn this for hospital. As a bit of an apology. Poopy, you too. I thought it might take the bait and fight the turrets, but obviously that is not what happened. So let's ignore the fact that I failed there.
All right, are we getting patched up? Yes and no. Um, who else? Medics. Dano. Yep, I can see why you'd be in pain. A war merchant. They might have some good stuff. All right, Velik made the first Bonic part. Um, we're also going to want a Bonic heart because Sergio has a, a bum ticker. So that will be a next goal. Got the hospital bed. Uh, let's do drug production. So we're kind of sleeping in the cold. Uh, animals, you are free to move about. Now, as you can see, I am uh, paving a perimeter uh, so that we can move more easily. Uh, let's see. We, I think CC is still the warden. Yep. All right, CC, you are in a rightfully terrible mood. I'm going to wake you up and consume some nice food. And as your mood increases a little bit, Go ahead and check a trade. Okay. So, uh, what can we do here? We can sell you some stuff. I have a lot of primitive weapons that I don't care to hold on to. In fact, they can take, they're a world merchant. They can take all the weapons that I don't want. Uh, damaged jackets and clothing, I will sell off as well. And they don't really have anything that I want, as far as I could tell. So, call that trade completed. So what I'm doing here is putting my power station in, let's call it, one of a few. I'm going to not put all the power in one uh, bucket. And then this will become a chem fuel stockpile. And that will prevent um, explosions in my in my uh, general use stockpile. That uh, should do a pretty decent job of that. All right, I think we're good on kibble for a bit, as we have honestly way too much. Three thousand now. Go ahead and suspend that. Now, I am starting to stockpile Bonic parts. Uh, let's see. I also want maybe Sir Joe to make his own um, hospital bed. That seems pretty reasonable requests. So, Mr. Sir Joe, let's get you to make your own hospital bed. This should improve the chance of a successful surgery somewhat. I don't yet have a vitals monitor, but this is a first step. And it is excellent. 
And the next one is normal. Well, excellent. I guess is a start. And for now, I'm just uh, plopping it in here because this is supposed to be for prisoners, although it's not often. Arctic Fox is hunting me. That's cute. Oh, hunting one of the guests. That's even weirder. Oh, no, Alistair is not a guest. It's uh, my dog. Sorry, Fox. If I could shoot you, I would. Ooh, that was a pretty strong hit. Ah, because this is a puppy. Cole, now would be a great time to... Uh, you have a bad spine. Well, there goes Alistair. That's too bad. Now, I think I only have... No, I have a matched pair couple. Which is not something I want. I don't want more animals. And one of the reasons I don't want more animals is... Uh, we have so many pawns, I don't need them to do the work. Hence the no need for additional animals and the like. Alright, trade caravan is leaving. How is my other caravan? They are two and a half days away, 2.8 days of food. Look good to me. And DQ here still has a little bit of time left. Okay, we have a bionic heart. Awesome. Next, we need bionic ears. As odd as that sounds. And that will be repairing his everything. Once we're done. Now, as for the best doctor we have, Poopy is our best doctor. I think Wolf is a better doctor, honestly. Okay. So that looks pretty good. Getting um, some additional power, and it's going to be more secure. And then the excess heat that it produces gets can get vented. Everything is coming together. How about this project? This project has spun its wheels and has gone nowhere. Well, can't win them all, I suppose. So now that we have a footpath around the perimeter wall, we can move about a lot more uh, quickly, which is good. I'm still working on that, but we are in the early stages of having that done. Uh, looking at these guys, they are a day and a half away, and that gives plenty of time to rescue DQ with our adventurers. A uh, wooden door? I think this should be a granite door. And looking at our stockpile, I do believe we're out of wood. Um, it seems a little strange given that I have a lot of um, 
I don't actually have that many people growing. So I'm going to change that. That's probably part of the issue. Alright, Trek I'm going to borrow and give him manual priorities of deconstructing some stuff. Because the idea for here would be to add, oh, I obviously misclicked, add some good old fashioned auto cannons here, which should add a lot to our security as people run into the base. All right, now the chem fuel will be separated, which is nice. Um, vitals monitor. And then I'll start the deep drilling and scanning and whatnot. That will be next. Replacing some of the beautiful deadfall traps. And alas, looks like we're a little... Um, we're not low on... Well, I guess... Say it like it is, we're low on steel. So let's go and get some of that. There are some hidden components that I have overlooked. This is a larger thing of compacted machinery. That's kind of nice. So the chem fuel heater project is done. The other chem fuel generators, I'm going to go forcibly deconstruct because deconstruction is not a priority that gets prioritized. And looking at how dark this corner is, I'm also going to install a standing lamp. Okay, looking around, I want to get this part done too, but that's also deconstruct things. Uh, shovel zone. Let's clear this. Shovel zone. I'm not going to worry about the snow just yet. We don't really have any clear paths in the base, and that's mostly because I'm um, sort of iteratively redesigning the base. Uh, so there's obviously stuff I want to do. So we have one of the ears... We're working on the last year. Uh, my caravan is getting pretty close. Now, I have been holding out to do the surgeries on him once I have the vitals monitor. But um, given that I want to pretend like I've made progress in my goals, uh, I'm going to do the surgeries without that. And hope that Poopy doesn't screw up. Uh... So surgery success chance factor is 121%. All right, uh, let's practice with things that aren't gonna kill me first. Ear first, and then the eye. I think it's left actually. And give him real meds. And poopy operate. Poopy has lower manipulation. Ah, oh, that makes me uncomfortable. But I said I was gonna do it and I'm not gonna renege. Um, I promise.
All right, so here is the bionic ear first. And it's good. Now the bionic eye. And then the bionic heart. Which makes me real uncomfortable. Lots of room for error here. Okay, that went smooth. Sergio is becoming a new man. He had a prosthetic heart. Oh, now he has a bionic one. All right, so all he has left is one ear, and we're working on that right as we speak. Which means I am almost done fulfilling my promise that he is... Um, going to be repaired with bionics. All that's left is fixing his brain, which I can do uh, given a heal mech serum. So, last operation will be the left ear. That's a lot of bionics for, for, well, you all voted, so I, can, I don't really have a say, but that is a lot of bionics. Here is the last surgery. If we check the surgery success chance, uh, let's see, surgery, 88%. Uh, the manip manipulation is a little bit of a problem, uh, but then the success chance of the bed helps out as well. Okay, so Sergio is apparent, uh, fully bionic now, which is awesome. That is, oh, I obviously, some harvesting to do which is a uh, long-term goal fulfilled I don't know it makes me feel pretty good um, now if you're wondering about this I'll explain shortly it will make sense I hope and the caravan is now back awesome so we've got Four eyes, who needs to be captured? All right, wild man. Four eyes would be a really good way to train our uh, social because she's can't run away. She can't do anything but lay there, basically. Cruel, sure, but you know. Training is training. Uh, Jirit, you sleep here. And these beds, yes, are temporarily screwed up, but I'll fix them eventually. Uh, Wolf and then Leth can take one of these. Don't really care which one. Look at Sergio. All right, so the benefits. Uh, sight obviously benefited. Blood pumping benefited. Um, the hearing is okay, so that's all swell. He still isn't out of the woods in terms of, um, becoming, you know, confused, but that's a problem I'm going to ignore for now, because, well, I can't fix everything at once. Alright, so if you're wondering what I'm doing, I am spacing things out a little bit differently here. So we are moving... Moving some items of interest down a bit. Let's see, Trekintosh can work on this. Should I have built it like this at the start? Yeah, 
But, you know, it's too late for that. And all this is part of the prettying up the base that I am required to do as part of my short-term goals. I know nothing looks prettier yet, but it will. If you believe in me, it will. So this will go down even further. Everything in here looks kind of funny at the moment. Uh, let's see. Another door. And then also Wolf and Jirit going to go off on another adventure. What is this? This is unknown. Okay, that probably means not good, potentially ambushed. I will prepare accordingly. Um, but alas, I'm out of time. That's gonna be have to be for next episode. So if you have any feedback for me, let me know. I do realize that uh, I haven't actually taken any of your feedback in account for a bit, but that's because I was on hiatus. I am back now. If you have any suggestions, I'm open to hear them. Keep in mind that I am bound by the initial rules of this challenge and also my current goals. And voting will be coming up uh, mid this week, so I'm looking forward to that as well, getting some new goals in there. So I'm trying to hammer out some of the ones I currently have. And obviously, this episode, I finished off the Bonnick uh, Sergio, so... Hopefully next episode I finish off the prettying up the base. So thank you all for watching. If you haven't already, uh, maybe think about subscribing and liking. And I'll have to catch you all next time. Adios.